Hi, welcome to my latest Yankee Candle video and today I'm reviewing the Yankee Candle Holiday Sparkle Collection, the brand new collection for Christmas 2018. These have been out for a little while already but I wanted to kind of get used to the fragrances before I reviewed them and also get the chance to put my Christmas tree up a little bit early to go along with the fragrances. So um, I'll get into them in a minute. But Yankee Candle and Christmas, to me, it's the best season for Yankee Candles. Um, my first ever Yankee Candle was a jar I found in a charity shop about six or seven years ago and it was a Christmas fragrance and I absolutely loved it and it was probably only a few months after that that I went out and got Yankee Candle jars number two and three and they were also Christmas fragrances so Yankee Candles always automatically take me back to Christmas now and I can't actually imagine having a Christmas without a Yankee Candle involved crazy as it sounds and sp spring, summer, autumn I love it, it's great and I love the Yankees that go along with it but there's something about how Yankee managed to capture the Christmas magic and put it in a candle. I don't know how they do it, but it, they really, that, that's, it's the best thing, it's the best part of the year for me for candle burning is Christmas time. So I'm so excited and Yankee haven't let us down this year with the Holiday Sparkle Collection. Now, as I'm sure some of you know, these are out and I know some of you have tried them already and you can get them in all formats, milk cups, um, jars, all sizes, votives, melts, whatever, and these are going to be permanent additions to the collection, so they're going to be around for a while. And what treats we have? I'm going to go through them all one by one, and they're all a little bit different, so let's go. First one is um, Frosty Gingerbread. Now, the reason I've got the jar facing backwards is I've got a personalised label on that one, which I'm sure you don't want to see, but to give you an idea of the picture, if you've not got it to hand or seen it, that's Frosty Gingerbread there. It's kind of, if you can't quite see that clearly, it's... Um, gingerbread stars with a frosted topping on them and I was burning this one last night for probably the third or fourth time. I had it on for the first time actually when we had our Yankee fan gathering. I don't know if you've read back on my blogs when we have a sort of annual party with about 25 Yankee candle fans here and I had this on all day in the kitchen and it worked really well and last night it was just stunning. Frosty gingerbread those of you who've tried Yankee gingerbread fragrances before will recognize the scent of this but it's it's softer but without losing any of the strength of the throw. What they've done this year, Yankee have got all of the goodness of gingerbread and Christmas baking and everything else and it's laced with a frosted vanilla topping. It just takes the edges, it just takes the edge off it. I know some people found some of the previous Yankee gingerbread type fragrances a little bit too harsh and spicy. Don't get me wrong, this has still got that spiciness to it but with that vanilla frosting topping it just kind of takes the edge off. And it just brings to mind you know, mince pies, Christmas pudding, Christmas baking, not that I'm very good at that, but it brings it, and it's beautiful, and it filled my whole room last night, really strong, really lovely, and um, fantastic. So anyway, what has it got in it? Frosty Gingerbread says, it's gingerbread, freshly toasted, a holiday delight that fills any room with welcome and warmth. I couldn't have put it any better myself, so well done, Yankee Candle, for that one. And the notes are cinnamon, vanilla frosting, nutmeg, ginger clove, gingerbread and sugar. So it's all things spice, sweet and nice and as I say that vanilla frosting just makes it perfect really. So um, that's frosty gingerbread. So that's for all the foodies out there for Christmas. The next one is Winter Wonder which I only have in a small jar at the moment. So I'll give you a look on the label on that one. But it's basically, um, you know, if you can imagine sitting in a, uh, a room by the window, it's snowing outside, you've got your Christmas decorations up and you're looking at the snowy landscape. That's the loveliness of Winter Wonder. And I'm liking this one more and more. As I say, I've only had it in small jars at the moment and a couple of tea lights, but it's divine and it's quite different. You might think on first smell, let me go again, you might think that it's minty, but it's not. It's actually like a, um, I don't know, a frosty lemon or iced lemon. I'll get to the notes in a minute. It's got lemon in it. But it's like a lemon frosting, sugary, Vanilla, it's just, you know, it, it literally just takes you looking out the window at the magical snowy landscape and that's a, a sweety fantasy fragrance that takes you out there with it. So Winter Wonder says it's a dazzling winter mix of champagne and citrus. I always forget the champagne, I visit that little bafavoom if you like. Champagne and citrus, vanilla and silver balsam and the notes are frozen lemon, frost air. That gives it that beautiful, outdoorsy, cold but but sweet feel to it. Uh, champagne accord, silver, balsam, vanilla and sheer musk. As I say, I'm loving this more and more every time I smell it. Uh, winter Wonder is definitely a Winter Wonder for this Christmas, so there we go. Next up is 
Well, the wonderfulness of Icy Blue Spruce. Now just take a look at that and the wax colour of that. Now, I kind of think that fits a little bit nicely into my tree here, because I find this one, and I'll talk about it in a minute, a little bit Narnia-esque. Those of you who are fans of C.S. Lewis and Narnia and Lion, the Witch in the Wardrobe, when the Queen had Narnia covered in ice and the creatures were all running around, that's kind of what I'm going for with this tree this year. I don't know if you can catch it under that, but it's got birds and squirrels and ice and all sorts on it. And this icy blue spruce, for me, the first thing I thought when I smelled it, it smells like Narnia. Bonkers, I know, but that, that's what I thought. Because it's fresh, it's outdoorsy, it's green, but it's sweet and, and I couldn't quite pinpoint what that sweet twist on it was. So it gives it that touch of fantasy magic on top of a traditional like green leafy smell. And what it is, is it's spearmint, which it's, it's laced with spearmint. So it gives it that really magical quality and I think this is going to be absolutely delightful. Again, there's nothing quite like it in the Christmas range in the past that I can remember. So Icy Blue Spruce is a fresh breath, a friend of forest, it's juniper berries, blue spruce, spearmint leaves, that's the description. And the notes are fresh juniper and spearmint leaves, so that spearmint is just gently on the top, it's so beautiful. Uh, winter spruce, blackcurrant and snow covered cedar, so you've got that fruit and the green in there, again just giving that magical quality. And fir balsam and powdery musk at the bottom, so I'm really looking forward to burning this one, I haven't yet, but absolutely delightful, love the picture, love the wax colour and the scent is to die for, so there we go, that's Icy Blue Spruce, full of Christmas magic and I've saved my favourite one for the last bit naughty I know and I've got a little tea light here which has been wafting around the room this is just something else, this one here, this is Glittering Star now this is almost indescribable, almost indefinable. Now I find if I can't quite pinpoint what a Yankee Candle is and it's you know such an intoxicating blend of scents that I can't quite pick out what it is then that's that's something magical. And this is that. Let's have a... Oh, it's so warming. It's so warming with just a touch of sweetness to it. I'm just I know this one sounds absolutely crazy, and, and again, I think it's the label that's making me thinking of it. But if you could think of all, if you could think of how you might like your Christmas decorations to smell, you know, if they were if they were laced with sweets or magic, that's it's a fan, it's warming. It's got a touch of ginger, definitely in there. It's absolutely to die for. I think it's a softer one, so this might not be for everybody, but it's going to be one of those ones that creates a real ambiance in a room, a soft, gentle ambience with the most beautiful smell. So glittering star, let's have a look. It's a shimmering fragrance that gives sandalwood a sparkle with sugar, plum and ginger. So sandalwood is a thing that gives it that warming, lovely feel to it. It has sparkling ginger, cassis, sugar plum, nutmeg, patchouli, amber, guercwood and sandalwood. So basically loads of notes in there that I like in my Yankee Candle so it's no surprise to me that this is my favourite and the tea light on its own is creating just this lovely ambience in the room. So that's it. That's Holiday Sparkle, Yankee Candles, new release for Christmas 2018. Hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. You have your frosty gingerbread, so that's your home baking one, your winter wonder, zesty, spicy lemon, the icy blue spruce with its magical spearminty tree-like fragrance and the glorious warmth of glittering star. So thanks for watching. I'll be back soon. Um, Merry Christmas.